Hi, I'm Camilla, and this is King, and we're the Fi Resellers. Our channel is all about thrifting items, picking them from places where the next stop for them is gonna be the landfill, and selling them for a profit online. And in this video, we're going to show you all the things that we picked up secondhand for our own baby, and all the money that we saved by doing that. Yeah, hopefully that inspires you to buy secondhand. You know, you can save things from the landfill and save a lot of money. And if you're interested in the other side of what we do, which we're not doing with this stuff, but we might eventually once our child grows out of it, you should consider subscribing to our channel where we talk about reselling things online for profit. It's a great gig for a stay-at-home mom who is looking for flexibility in terms of the time spent working, how, when, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And so if you are not a stay-at-home mom, but you're looking for flexibility, if you're a stay-at-home dad, you know, all of those things, mm -hmm. consider subscribing to our channel to learn more about reselling for profit. Another thing we're doing in our video is that we're having a gender reveal as part of this video for our subscribers. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And then lastly, we'd love to tell you a little bit about how you can find things for cheap. Just buying baby items, clothes, books, a lot of other miscellaneous things that you can find for cheap. And we really hope that this video is valuable for you. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so here are just a few of the books that we've picked up for our child. Mm -hmm. And we picked these up actually just this past weekend at a church rummage sale. So they were having a bag sale, so you could fill up a plastic bag for $5. So we oh, filled please. up with a ton of books and other things that we were going to use for ourselves. And then we've also bought some at the Goodwill outlet. We love to look through the book bins there and they are three for a dollar. So three books for just a dollar. So we have been picking those up as well. And we also got this one from a garage sale, which is honestly one of the best places to get things for a baby because you just start talking to people at a garage sale. You tell them, you know, that you're expecting mm -hmm. and then they're like, oh, here, let me help you because people are, you know, generous and they, you know, love to just share kindness. Mm -hmm. And so often they will throw things in for free. Like this book yeah. came for free when we bought a bunch of other things from yeah. this garage sale. Bundling is great with garage sales. Sometimes mm -hmm. people are just getting rid of things. Right. And for this, for example, is something that they wanted to get rid of, but also help someone else out. Mm -hmm, exactly. And especially with baby things, people are just want to get rid of them. And I'm sure that we will be in that place one day and we hope that we can pass along the kindness that has been given to us. Okay, next I have all of these burp cloths or swaddles or, you know, just kind of like light blankets that mm -hmm. you can use to cover the baby. Yeah, a lot of fun prints. And here. I have been picking these up basically anytime I see them in the Goodwill outlet bins and they don't have like big stains on them or anything like that. Right. I don't like to pick up things that have stains on them because our baby will stain them anyway. So I'd rather start with something clean. I picked up probably six or eight of these already. Mm -hmm. And I figure, you know, these are pretty versatile and I'm happy to have, you know, quite a few around so that when our baby does, you know, spit up on them or whatever, you know, get whatever food on them or whatnot, I can just throw them in the wash and just grab a fresh one. And really the only thing that we invest into this is a little bit of money because at the Goodwill outlet, you pay by the pound. And mm -hmm. so a lot of that, that was just like two or $3. If you're nervous about, you know, germs and all of that with buying second hand for your baby, don't be. Your washing machine and your dryer both clean and disinfect you know your items right. and so there's really not a reason to be like scared about that it's the same as if you know your baby was wearing something and they rolled around in the dirt in the park and you take it home and you wash it it's pretty much the same so next was another kind of random thing that we picked up from the goodwill outlet yeah and this is a diaper genie we don't have a trash can that has like a lid that locks like this i was happy to pick this up because basically that's the main thing i think that a diaper genie does is right. that has the lid that locks and it locks in the smell this was as cheap as you know any other yeah. trash can that we would pick up out of the bin so it's only like three pounds so maybe mm -hmm. three or four dollars at the bins exactly so i just looked it up recently and it goes for forty dollars wow. new and then the other thing is that I, I saw one of these at a garage sale and they wanted mm -hmm. to sell it for a dollar we spent more than we needed to and so mm -hmm. 
you can find a lot of great deals mm -hmm. you know you just gotta search for it and we took a lot of time ahead of time before our baby comes it's really just about you know like once you know that you're having a baby just keeping your eyes open for deals and things like that and as you collect things you know if you have a registry you just take them off your registry and then people buy the things that you can't find one other thing that we bought a bassinet off of facebook marketplace mm -hmm. and so that was what i did i had originally registered for it and i took it off once we found it on facebook marketplace and then we bought it for 40 dollars, and i think it was originally like 200 dollars. Mm. so that was a great deal we took it home we you know through what we could in the wash and wiped down the rest and we are really excited to have basically the exact bassinet that I was looking for and we are able to you know meet a mom and help her out a little bit you know give her a little bit of money mm -hmm. for something that she doesn't use anymore so now the clothes yeah now the clothes the fun part everyone's favorite part all the little things so we're <laughs> gonna start off with the real <laughs> banger this is really this. fun yeah, so this is a Burberry baby bib, which is something that we would have never, <laughs> never spent money on, except the fact that we picked it up at the bin. So it was, yeah. I don't know, the Goodwill Outlet bins are by weight. So this is very, very light. Next to nothing. Yeah, so. so we figured we weren't paying that much for it. We do need bibs. You know, that is something that a baby needs. And this one is pretty nice. I mean, it's like the plastic kind of one, so yeah. it's easy to wipe down and it's got a little you know, clip here that you can clip into a little packet to catch the crumbs. So very cute, very versatile. We're gonna have a Burberry baby. <laughs> yeah. Designer baby, exactly. No, I think this is the only designer thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything else is just like basic stuff. Actually, we were going through more of the stuff organizing it and we almost forgot to show you some of these other cool things. Yeah. Look, it's a baby Catan baby carrier. I'm hoping to be able to, you know, use this and figure Figure it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I watched a YouTube video, but it's kind of hard to do if you don't have a baby yeah, to like put into it. Yeah, little instructions in here too, yeah. but it's tough. And then we got a couple of these sleep sacks. So this is a Halo yeah. one, which is like the really fancy kind. We registered for some of these, but we've also found them thrifted. So this is a nice one. This is a three to six months. It's a swaddle and a little sleep sack. So, you know, put the baby, wrap them real tight. Yeah. Keep them in that straight jacket. Baby prison. <laughs> baby prison, exactly. So we got a couple more of those. These are little ones that have like them on the inside. I guess and this is another this one is a swaddle me it's a small medium okay. so you know you put the baby in here and with all the velcro you kind of wrap them up real tight this one's similar yeah. yeah swaddle me another little thing that is like they call these like a transition swaddle and basically it gives the baby the same kind of like feeling but keeps their arms free so that if they roll over, they're still safe. This is called um, Baby Merlin's Magic Sleep Suit, the Michelin Man suit. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it makes it look like a little marshmallow. But anyway, it's supposed to kind of give a little bit of pressure on on them so they don't wake up with every little um, movement, I guess. And the thing is, is that these are pretty expensive new and they also are kind of expensive secondhand. Face of the Marketplace, people are selling these for like $20. Wow. I've been seeing them on there, but I thought, I don't want to really want to pay $20 especially since our baby is not at that stage yet. But when I found them lucky. at the Goodwill Outlet, I thought, okay, well, I'll just pick it up and yeah. see, you know, how it does. Nice. I'm so glad we didn't forget these. These are these are some really high dollar items too. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, whatever. We'll so, come back to the other thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we picked up this little onesie. This is my first Christmas, even though that's yeah. going to be a ways away. But Six months. It is the size, size that our easy. baby will be at Christmas time. Yeah. So we thought this was really cute. So we picked that up and a little plaid onesie yeah which is nice still gender neutral maybe i don't yeah. know have you guessed yet put in the comments have you guessed yeah <laughs> just a cute little onesie here another little onesie a little striped one again these are you know we're super super light most pretty much all of these have come from the goodwill outlet so it's by weight we usually pay between 179 and 219 per pound most of these came at the 179 per pound mm -hmm. these ones are like the little sleepers i've been looking out especially for the sleepers with zippers that was a tip that was given to me by another mom basically that you don't want to be snapping you know 20 snaps in the middle of the night you just want to be able to zip it up it's so yeah. much easier okay so another little onesie so cute i know then here we have some pants not that our baby will need pants for a long time so because we live in sorry because we live in texas and they're going to be born in June, so yeah, that's why they won't be pants here. for a while. 
<laughs> so another little pair of pants. These ones are polka dots. They're really cute. And then they've got little bunnies. Oh, look at that. Little bunnies. So cute. Okay. All right. Well, secrets out. <laughs> I think okay. So here we go. <laughs> So this one princess. is another little sleeper with the zipper, a little princess. So did you get it right? 50-50 chance. Yeah. Were you right? Let us Were know in the comments. Right? Let us know in the comments. Okay, this one is a little Jamie and Jack. We love these floral prints. They're so cute. Yeah. Okay, so here is another. This is a little sleeper by Laura Ashley. You'll see that some of these brands are really nice and that yeah. they can range from like $20 or more mm -hmm. if they're brand new. And so we are getting a steal by yeah. just buying them secondhand. So hopefully yeah. that inspires you to keep looking for secondhand things. You know, you can find yeah. a lot of great high quality items. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here we have another little onesie. So we bought a ton of little onesies and sleepers because we know that we will need way more than what we think we need yeah. because our baby will just be like getting them dirty all the time. Yeah. So here's another one, a little, a little bunny one. We picked up these ones after Easter. I think someone donated them after Easter was over. I don't really care about seasonality with these th kind of things. Like, I think bunnies are cute year round. So yeah. we'll put them in them year round. This one is really interesting. It's magnetized. So it's like a magnet closure. Yeah, it's called so, E equals MC. Pretty interesting. Haven't seen that before, but I figured that would be nice at night. You know, yeah, just we'll give that it, a try. it magnetizes. And then this is a little, like, I think that they call these bubble um, onesies where they're kind of like this. But anyway, I thought this would be nice for summer. So cute, baby cat. Another little pair of pants with a little ruffle and a bow on the front. And these are Nicole Miller, New York. So that's a fancy brand. Fancy. For our baby. Here's another little Laura Ashley one. I think this one is vintage. Puffer. Yeah, oh, yeah. The, the little, um, they call them bubble. I oh, think yeah. bubble bottom. Another onesie. <laughs> Yeah, we're just going to keep going Another through Another onesie. Okay, so here we have some overalls. Some oh, I just love overalls. Strapped, striped I'm overalls. Oshkosh, God. Yeah, I had to tell Ken we couldn't get any more overalls for our baby because <laughs> we had too many. Another one. This one is strawberries. Strawberries. <laughs> we love strawberries. So we just think it's so cute. Some of the things that we picked up, the baby won't wear for a while. Like right. this one is right, another ahead. overalls. Sure. And, you know, this the baby won't fit in yeah. until she's like two. So here's another little sleeper. I thought this purple was really cute. Burt's Bees Baby. This one is a little dress and I just love this smocking. I will pick up anything that is a smocking that doesn't have any stains on it because I just think it's so precious and I love it so much. And it's got these cute little flowers. I just love it. I just think that she's gonna look so cute in that. Yeah. Another little one with some smocking. Not as much, but very cute. I like picking up vintage stuff. Um, because I figure then them, that means that my baby won't look like everyone else's baby. Yeah, this so, stuff is pretty unique, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I thought this one was really cute with the little bunnies. So. Yeah, it says Bonnie Baby. Look at that print. Yeah. All these little cute little bunnies. Yeah. Here is another one. This one is like a little sailor one. This reminds me of something that I wore as a child. Actually, I think that my mom, my sister, and I all had matching blue polka dot dresses <laughs> like this. Nice. So cute little detail at the front there. Yeah, another pair of strawberry overalls. Sure. We're obsessed. <laughs> okay, and this one is very vintage. This is from Montgomery Ward catalog. Oh. Definitely vintage. You can see the tag there. Yeah, you're not gonna find that anytime yeah. soon. And I just thought this was so precious. Yeah. So with all the pleats and stuff, I just think it's so cute. So back to onesies. A couple more. Sleepers. This one is pretty interesting. This is a sleeper and it ties at the bottom. I don't know if I'm going to like that, but I figured that will be easy at night. This is another little long sleeve one. And then another one of the swaddling cloths. Little bunny one, bunny sleeper. So cute. This one is another little onesie. And then another little sleeper set. This is cute. Yeah, another Burt's Bees. Yeah, okay. Burt's Bees. And then this one, which is like mermaid style. Then this is called a sleep sack. And this is a Betsy Johnson sleep sack, which I thought was really cute. And a little sweater so cute. from this. Zara. That one the baby won't wear for a really long time. Right. And another little sweater, which we have been picking these up for, we've picked probably like, I don't know, three or four of these up. We've sold the other ones, but each time we keep one for our own baby because we just think that these are so cute. Yeah, they're Peruvian. Basically, my understanding is that you can like buy them at markets and places in Peru and it's kind of a well-known sort of style of these sort of sweaters. So, so cute. I just think that they are like seriously adorable. So we always pick them up when we yeah. see them at the bins. I think that we actually have more stuff than this, but honestly, 
it's all kind of mixed in with other things yeah. that we've gotten. So here is a non-exhaustive list of places that you can buy baby items for cheap or some places that you might even be able to get them for free. So the first place is garage sales. That is one of our favorite places to go, especially because on Facebook Marketplace and on Craigslist and you know other garage sale apps, often people will take pictures of the, some of the stuff that they're selling. So you can see if it's gonna be like a baby centric garage sale yeah. or not. And often people will have a garage sale when they're trying to get rid of their baby things. And so those are great places to head up because you can pretty much just like sweep them. That's great because then it helps that person out who's selling the items and helps you out to get those items for cheap. The one that we've mentioned throughout this video, the Goodwill outlet is mm -hmm. one that we prefer to go to because you pay by the pound. Mm -hmm. And if you think about something like this, that's only maybe eight ounces, not mm -hmm. even eight ounces, that's like a dollar. And you could mm -hmm. get a sweater, a nice little sweater for a dollar. And mm -hmm. some of these onesies, you get mm -hmm. three for a dollar. And in mm -hmm. a lot of cases, they're just so cheap that it just makes sense mm -hmm. to first save them from the landfill. And then second, just get it for cheap, great brands. Mm -hmm. You save a lot of money from retail. And at the Goodwill outlet, there's always children's items yeah. out. Always. And often the other people, the other people shopping there are not necessarily picking them up. So when we look for resale, we often are not looking that much at the kids' clothes because we're looking at like women's clothes, we're looking at shoes, we're looking at, you know, housewares, things like that. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the other people that are shopping there are doing that as well. So you can often find, you know, in a big bin, you can find a couple of things that might work for you because there's just so much of it. The next place you can go is buy, sell, trade store. So there's definitely one kind of well-known one, which is Once Upon a Child, which sells, you know, kids clothes. They will buy kids clothes from you. That is a good way if you are already a parent and you have kids clothes and you wanna, you know, get the next size up, that's a great way to save even more money. So you're saving money just by buying them secondhand. Mm. But then you can also bring in old clothes and get some of that money back yeah. as credit. And so it's kind of a win-win with that. We had talked about church rummage sales and we love these type of rummage sales because oftentimes you can find a lot of stuff mm -hmm. for really, really cheap. So think about what we said about fill a bag where you get a $5 bag in our case, you fill it up and you get like 10, 20 pounds possibly if you really stuff it, right? <laughs> for yeah. just $5. And so that can be a really great way to get just a big bulk of items at mm -hmm. one time. And often if you're at a church rummage sale, the volunteers that are working there, you strike up a conversation with them. You might even be able to get an even better deal depending on, you know, how sympathetic they are to you <laughs> and how generous, yeah, you know, deal with them. depending on, you know, their kind of personality and things like that. Right. But I could definitely see that happening. Mm -hmm. At least with the ladies that I know at the church rummage sale that we went to. <laughs> yeah. The next is to join some buy nothing groups on Facebook. So we're in a couple local ones and people are often trying to offload different, you know, baby items, different things like that. Mm -hmm. And depending on which one you're in, they can be a pretty good way to get, you know, baby furniture, just baby accessories, clothes, all of that kind of stuff. And those type of groups are very welcoming for you to ask for things. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a certain size for your baby, you can ask and there are often people who really want to help. And so you can mm -hmm. get a lot of great stuff there too. Mm -hmm. You can look at online sources uh, that have apps such as Nextdoor and OfferUp. You can use it on the computer or on your phone and get an app that mm -hmm. will actually let you find a lot of great things. It's kind of like a never ending garage sale where you can just keep scrolling through and see if there's something that you like and you can try to strike up a deal with the seller, it's a great way to get stuff for cheap too. Another kind of online source would be, you know, sites like Kitizen, Poshmark, eBay. Often there are people on there trying to sell their own children's clothes and things like that. And sometimes you'll find people who will have like a whole lot of things, you know, 10 onesies for $10 or mm -hmm. whatever it is. So that is a great way to buy kind of in bulk in some ways, or if you're looking for a very specific thing. So say, you wanted the bamboo onesie for your kids, you could go on Kitizen or Poshmark and buy them secondhand. The next place that you can go are just regular thrift stores. And I would recommend like local thrift stores. So I personally volunteer at one in our community. Basically all the money that's spent at this thrift store funds their charitable work. So they have a food pantry, they do rent assistance, they do job assistance. So the thrift store funds the majority of, you know, the money that they spend on that kind of stuff on their, you know, building and all of that. So it's kind of twofold. So, you know, you're able to get things for cheap, but then it also benefits 
people who are low income and in need. At that store, they have um, onesies that are four for a dollar. So you have to buy four, but that's a really cheap way to get a lot of clothes for your baby. And they often have other type items too. People are always bringing in like huge loads of donations. Honestly, there's kind of an overload of donations there. We are often, you know, kind of struggling under the load of the donation. So it's really great when people come in and they're able to buy up a lot of stuff. We had mentioned earlier that getting things secondhand from friends and family is a great way to just get a lot of stuff. And for us, we feel very fortunate to have gotten so many things for our baby. My family has five nieces and we just, have a lot of stuff that we could get from them. And at this point, we just have to wait for them to grow up and then we just keep getting hand-me-downs. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we've really enjoyed getting things from our friends and families. It just feels great to just keep that cycle going because mm -hmm. we plan to also continue doing that in the future for our other family members as well. Yeah, and if you are you know interested in getting secondhand items and you are happy to receive those, let your friends and family know because that was something that, you know, it's kind of, People already kind of know that about us. They kind of know that that's part of our personality, that we love thrifting and all of that. And so our friends and family, if they're at the thrift store, they're willing to pick things up for us and give it to us as gifts. Yeah. And so they don't necessarily have to buy things new. So my diaper bag, my mom had seen it at a thrift store and said, I think this is the one that you're registered for. You want me just to get it at the thrift store? and then you can have it and all of that. And I said, yes, of course, I would love to have a secondhand diaper bag and not have to buy one from the manufacturer to be able to keep an item in circulation and that it doesn't just get thrown out. The funny thing yeah. about our registry is that we ended up not having a whole lot of things on our registry because we've mm -hmm. got so many of these items from the thrift store and yeah. friends and families. And, yeah. Yes, <laughs> and we got so many things from King's family, from my family, you know, just things that were basically hand-me-downs um, and that we are honestly so thankful to have gotten because to be able to, you know, get these things that our friends and family have already purchased was so nice because then it enabled us on our registry to register for diapers and it just is like a snowball of savings. Yeah. So it helped us save money in the first place and then it's helping us in the future save even more money by not having to buy as many diapers and as many wipes and as many whatever else we need to buy. So. Right, and it's gonna be so much fun to see our child in the same clothes as some of our nieces and one of our friends who sent us just a bunch of girl items. It's mm -hmm. gonna be a lot of fun to snap a picture and show them so that they mm -hmm. can compare. I don't know, the sentiment there it, for me is, is so much more. It makes things a lot of fun for friends and family to mm -hmm. see that this, yeah. this piece of clothing has a new life. Mm -hmm. But I would also be remiss if I didn't mention, you know, if you're watching this video and you are really in need, you know, you are a person of low income and you're watching this video to, you know, see how you can save money. All of the tips that we have given have been really great tips and I would definitely encourage you to take them. But also if you are in need, there are often charities, local charities that are able to help you. Just speaking from my own experience of working at the thrift store, that food pantry and the assistance that they give that's available to mothers and would be able to help you with getting diapers and getting assistance and all of that. Just be on the lookout for that. If you are in a spot and you realize that you don't have money to be able to buy clothes or buy diapers or wipes or things like that, because often the government um, programs don't cover extra things like that. It just is basically food and that's it. Mm -hmm. And so if you are in need of that extra help, diaper banks are another charity organization that you can look into. So I would just encourage you to do that if that is the spot that you're in. There's nothing wrong with that. So if you'd like to learn more about reselling as a mom or just in general as a person who desires a flexible schedule, consider subscribing to our channel. This year I am trying to make $52,000 a year as a stay-at-home mom doing this reselling. If you are interested in following along in that journey, consider subscribing. We would love to have you and leave a comment down below. If you have any tips on how to get baby items for cheap or how to save money when you're raising kids, let us know down in the comments. We would love to hear from you and love to chat with you down there. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps YouTube show this video to more people who might be in need of it. Thank you so much for watching. Really think that buying secondhand is something that we plan to do for the rest of our lives. Hopefully it helps you find a way to lower your costs. That's something we're really passionate about. We hope that you join us in a lot of future videos. We'll see you later. Bye.
we are having a baby. She's doing well. <laughs> I gave it away. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I guess it's not a gender reveal anymore. <laughs>